Thraxodon and Brumastega, the all-time high scorers of Cozy Duo Sleep. Thraxodon was a cynodont from late Permian and early Triassic South Africa and Antarctica. It was one branch of the lineage that eventually gave rise to mammals, but wasn't itself a mammal. Described by Harry Seeley in 1894, its name means trident tooth. Brumastega was an amphibian from early Triassic South Africa, built a little bit like a salamander post Panini Press. Originally called Lidocarina by Robert Broom in 1930, the genus was later renamed Brumastega or Broom's Roof. The Triassic Cuddle preserves Thonaxodon and Brumastega sharing a burrow. The fossil dates from 250 million years ago, making them the most ancient animals in this video. Thonaxodon is completely entombed in its burrow cast. It's only about the size of a football and made of itty bitty bones. So to keep everything in place, Fernandez and friends took the entire cast and fired lasers at it. Because science! They used synchrotron light to make a 3D scan. That's how they revealed that Brumastega was also in there. Brumastega would normally be food for Thrinaxodon, so how did they end up like this? Here's what we think happened. Pangaea at the time was very hot and dry, but Thrinaxodon knows how to beat the heat, dig a hole, and shift into power saving mode. This strategy probably helped Thrinaxodon survive the Great Dying, only the worst mass extinction of all time, just a few million years earlier. This hot weather equivalent of hibernation is called estivation, so Thrinaxodon is sitting pretty, but Brumastega is an amphibian, a little moist boy, and it needs to shelter from the heat. Scans showed that Brumastega had a pair of holes in its skull, which I thought meant it had been bit by something. But Fernandez and friends actually report that the absence of any other bite-related injuries points to them being caused by disease or something that happened after death and during preservation. Brumastega also had several broken and partially healed ribs from a crush injury it had sustained in the weeks prior. So this juvenile baby Brumastega with me Maybe holes in my skull disease is shuffling along on broken ribs, struggling to move and breathe when it pulls up to the only shelter it can find. It's an intruder, but Thrinaxodon is unconscious, and Brumastega likes those odds. Suddenly, a flash flood sweeps through, smashing Thrinaxodon up against the wall and flipping Brumastega over. They were roommates, and then they were two mates. I have Thrinaxodon facing left and Brumastega rolling over to reference their death poses. It took me forever to flip this wet beast over, but Brumastega's injuries are such a fascinating part of this story and I really wanted to include them. Again, these bones are so small and intricate, the Triassic Cuddle is unlikely to ever be excavated. Sealed into their final resting place, Thrinaxodon and Brumastega have been together for 250 million years, and just maybe they'll outlast us all.